BrainWise presents Grade 3, Math, Quizby, Part 3 Hello, Mathletes! Welcome back to BrainWise, where learning is always an adventure! Today, we're going on a thrilling math quest. Get ready to climb mountains of multiplication, swim through seas of subtraction, and explore the jungles of addition. Will you be the ultimate math explorer? Let's go! Easy round. Number one. Which of these shapes has the most parallel lines? Again. Which of these shapes has the most parallel lines? The choices are A. Triangle B. Square C. Pentagon D. Octagon The correct answer is D. Octagon Number 2 Imagine a clock's hands at 3 o'clock what type of angle do the hands form? Again, imagine a clock's hands at 3 o'clock. What type of angle do the hands form? The choices are A. Acute angle B. Right angle C. Obtuse angle D. Straight angle The correct answer is B. Right angle. Number 3. True or false, a line segment can be extended infinitely in both directions. Again. True or false, a line segment can be extended infinitely in both directions. The choices are A. True. B. False. The correct answer is B. False. A line segment has two endpoints, so it has a definite length and cannot be extended. Number 4. Can an obtuse angle and a right angle be next to each other to form a straight line? Again. Can an obtuse angle and a right angle be next to each other to form a straight line? The choices are A. Yes. B. No. The correct answer is B. No. Number 5. A shape is a quadrilateral with opposite sides parallel and no lines of symmetry. What shape is it? Again. A shape is a quadrilateral with opposite sides parallel and no lines of symmetry. What shape is it? The choices are A. Rectangle B. Parallelogram C. Rhombus D. Trapezoid The correct answer is B. Parallelogram A parallelogram has opposite sides parallel, but unless if it's a rectangle or rhombus, it doesn't have lines of symmetry. Closing parenthesis. Give yourselves a high five, explorers! You conquered the first leg of our math quest, but the adventure doesn't stop here. More challenges await! Can you handle the heat? Let's journey onward to the next level! Average round. Two lines intersect, forming four angles. One angle is 60 degrees. What is the measure of the angle opposite to it? Again, two lines intersect, forming four angles. One angle is 60 degrees. What is the measure of the angle opposite to it? The choices are A. 30 degrees B. 60 degrees C. 90 degrees D. 120 degrees Number 1 The correct answer is B. 60 degrees Opposite angles formed by intersecting lines are equal Number 2 True or false, if a shape has rotational symmetry, it means you can turn it less than a full circle and it will look the same. Again, true or false, if a shape has rotational symmetry, it means you can turn it less than a full circle and it will look the same. The choices are 
A. True. B. False. The correct answer is A. True. Number 3. Liam draws a triangle. He then draws a line that cuts through the triangle, dividing it into two smaller triangles. What is the maximum number of acute angles that could be in both triangles combined? Again, Liam draws a triangle. He then draws a line that cuts through the triangle, dividing it into two smaller triangles. What is the maximum number of acute angles that could be in both triangles combined? The choices are A. 3 B. 4 C. 5 D. 6 The correct answer is D6. Each of the smaller triangles could have three acute angles. Number 4. Two sides of a triangle are 5 centimeters and 8 centimeters long. Which of these could not be the length of the third side? Again, two sides of a triangle are 5 centimeters and 8 centimeters long. Which of these could not be the length of the third side? The choices are A. 3 centimeters B. 5 centimeters C. 8 centimeters D. 13 centimeters The correct answer is D. 13 centimeters. In a triangle, the sum of any two sides must be greater than the third side. 5 plus 8 equals 13, so 13 cannot be the length of the third side. Number 5. Draw a rectangle. Now draw one straight line inside the rectangle to create two different quadrilaterals that are not rectangles. What two shapes could you have made? Again. Draw a rectangle. Now draw one straight line inside the rectangle to create two different quadrilaterals that are not rectangles. What two shapes could you have made? The choices are A. Two squares B. Two rhombuses C. A square and a rhombus D. Two trapezoids The correct answer is D. Two trapezoids. Wow! You guys are unstoppable! The challenges are getting tougher, but you're proving yourselves to be true math masters. Are you ready to face the unknown? Take a deep breath and let's conquer the final obstacle! Difficult round. Number 1. A solid figure has five faces, nine edges, and six vertices. What is it? Again. A solid figure has five faces, nine edges, and six vertices. What is it? The choices are A. Triangular prism B. Rectangular prism C. Triangular pyramid D. Square pyramid The correct answer is A. Triangular prism. Number 2. Which of these solid figures has the fewest faces? Again. Which of these solid figures has the fewest faces? The choices are A. Q. B. Rectangular prism. C. Cone. D. Pyramid. The correct answer is C. Cone. A cone has only two faces, a circular base, and a curved surface. Number 3. A shape has an infinite number of lines of symmetry. What shape is it? Again. 
A shape has an infinite number of lines of symmetry. What shape is it? The choices are A. Square B. Circle C. Equilateral triangle D. It's impossible to tell. The correct answer is B. Circle Number 4 Imagine a cube made of clay. If you cut this cube A in half, what shapes could the faces of the new pieces have? Again, imagine a cube made of clay. If you cut this cube A in half, what shapes could the faces of the new pieces have? The choices are A. Squares and rectangles B. Squares and triangles C. Rectangles and triangles D. All of the above The correct answer is A. Squares and rectangles. Number 5. A cube has a volume of 60 for cubic centimeters. What is the length of one of its edges? Again, a cube has a volume of 60 for cubic centimeters. What is the length of one of its edges? The choices are A. 4 centimeters, B. 8 centimeters, C. 16 centimeters, D. 32 centimeters. The correct answer is A. For centimeters, to find the volume of a cube, you cube the length of one edge. 4 times 4 times 4 equals 64. Congratulations, math champions! You've reached the summit of our math quest. You face every challenge with courage and brilliance. Give yourselves a big pat on the back. Don't forget to share your epic victory with your friends. Hit that like button, share this video, and subscribe to our channel for more exciting adventures in learning. Until next time, keep those math skills sharp. Great job on the math quiz. Share your results in the comments below. Check out other videos from BrainWise.